Ewok Village playset from Star Wars Return of the Jedi Collection. Action figures sold separately. New from Kenner. Now, I turn the Ewok Village around, and this is the branch that holds this boulder. I need to wrap the... It's got kind of an indentation here to show you where the string goes. And I'll just wrap the string around here, tie it in a knot, and then put the the boulder to a certain length so it's at least hovering a bit off the ground like it does in the, the, the box art, the photo that's in the box. Here's the, here's the string that I got from Joanne Fabric. And I will tie it around. I suppose I, you know, even in the, even though in the box art it looks like it's, it's wrapped around several times. I don't understand that, but I'll do it anyway, just so it looks close to the original. And then I'll just tie it in a knot like I did with the, with the elevator. Okay, this is, this is going to be complicated. If I can't keep the knot up, you not going there. Oh, maybe I have to turn it around like this. And then tie it up here. Yeah, that was being a bit difficult. So I'll just tie the knot right here. And then tie it again for the actual knot. Okay, well, I couldn't get it actually tight. Well, I guess that, that'll work. That looks good. Okay, it's not moving too much. It's got a good string here. Now I need to tie it to the boulder, but I want to make sure that it's it's hanging. Cut here. All right, it's hanging. So let's see. About right there is good. I think that's a good pot, good length right there. Uh, maybe a little higher, about right there. Now I'll tie the knot. This one's going to be interesting. Okay, oops, I had moved it a bit. Okay, right there. Okay, that's going to be interesting. Okay, let's see if that's it. Uh, nope, let's get right there and then tie the knot around. Wow, string is really difficult to tie. It's very fiddly. Okay, that looks good. All right, I'm going to tie it one more time. I want to make sure this is a really good knot. Awesome. It's done. Yay. And it swings well. All right. This is fun. I like this. Now my Ewok village is almost complete. Now I need to work on the net. I no longer had the instruction sheet for the Ewok village and I could not remember how to thread the netting. So I had to download it from the internet. I'm not, I don't want to keep this string. I don't, it's not even strung up correctly, so I'm just going to have to cut this all apart. It's just a mess. Take this out. Okay, hopefully the string comes out easily. Looks like it was threaded properly at one time, but not totally. Because it just wasn't working. This part does look like it was threaded correctly. It's coming through. Is it coming through? Yeah. Got to get this thread out. How about I just cut it? Okay. Now I need to get this off as well. It was really knotted up in there, so it took me a bit of cutting to try and get that string out. It's all gone. Here's the old string. Time for that to go away. Now, here's the net. 
with the instructions that I got online, hopefully I'll be able to do this. And it says to use, must be of equal length. All right, the netting is done. Um, it took a, quite a bit of time to do it, so I had to I had to thread it through here like this and bring it together. And it looks like it it worked quite well. So because when I hold my hand and and pull on it, it closes on my hand like it should, and into like a basket. So it looks like it worked quite well. So now I'll put this on the Ewok Village. Wow, talk about not paying attention to instructions. I was so concerned about how to thread the netting that I didn't even realize that the instructions for putting on how to actually install the thread onto the Ewok Village was on the same page. So what I did was I had tied the string to the little plastic uh, pulley, I suppose is what you want to call it, and knotted it, and it was ready to install it on the Ewok Village, and that's when I realized I wasn't paying attention to the instructions, and that there was this hook at the bottom. So I had to undo the, the, um, the knot that I had made on the little pulley, and I actually had to cut it, not undo it. I had to cut it. And I really did not want to re-thread the whole netting again. So basically what I'm doing is just adding a little bit more thread to it and just tying it to the actual, tying it to the thread and to the little plastic pulley instead of just re-threading the whole net. Well, there you go. I strung the string in through the loop that's under here and then brought it up to here. So when you pull it, it comes up like this. Whoops, it comes up like this. And I'm sh it does cut better as I showed you before, um, but it doesn't seem to work that way like this. I guess you got to have something heavy in, in the netting. But I like it, it looks good. You can, I can lay it flat like this. And then it displays nicely, just like that. All right, now to put my Ewok Village back on display. Now here is my Ewok Village on display, and now it's complete with the appropriate strings needed for a, a good, good looking display. And here's the, the elevator, and it has an Ewok in it. And I have the net right here. And I'm very happy and very pleased how it looks. And the strings look great. The display looks fantastic. Now, I got this restoration idea from a wonderful, wonderful YouTube channel called Toy Boy. On the channel, they do a lot of toy restorations. Not just Star Wars, many different toys. But I really do prefer to see the Star Wars restorations. The, some of the toys are in terrible condition, and it's just amazing what is done to restore those toys. Check it out. Until then, I'm Richard, and I'm still obsessed. Hey, thanks for watching another episode of Star Wars Obsessed. If you really like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't done so, please subscribe.